Hey, good morning, CC3 Math 8 students. All right, um, I'm going to actually do this video just slightly different than I typically do. Um, I'm going to actually explain what each of these means. So every question that you're going to get is going to say um, that you need to find the positive and negative linear associations from the scatter plot, and it's going to simply say this right up here. It's going to say, what's the best description of the scatter plot below? I know you don't see a scatter plot below. I'm going to explain that in a moment. We want to know, is it a positive linear association, a negative linear association, a nonlinear association, or is there no association? So I thought I would, what I would do is I would give you an example of what each one of those looks like so it's an easy one for you. This con should not take you very long to do. So a positive linear association, if you think about it, a positive association is a line that goes up, okay? So if you have a line that goes up, that's a positive association. So this first graph right here, you'll notice if I were to take my little line right here, and it goes up at about that rate right there. Whoops, you have got the next one on there already. You can see this first one has a positive linear association. Kind of makes a straight line going up. Kind of jumped the gun and put in the second graph on there. The second one we're doing is a negative linear association. So if you think about a negative association, that means that your line is actually going down. Okay, something similar to that right there. So anytime a line is going down as you work from left to right, it has a negative uh, linear association. So you can kind of notice on this one, this one for the most part is going down as we work on that. Okay, so then we're kind of done with linear association, so I'm just going to cancel that line out of there again. The third one, what does a non-linear association? Well, if linear means straight line, what do you think a non-linear means? Hopefully in your head right now you went, well, that means that it doesn't go straight. It's like curved some way. Exactly. So you'll notice on this one that you can kind of tell those points have a purpose but they do not go in a straight line. They kind of make this U shape. Um, next year, you're gonna learn that that looks like a parabola. Uh, but right now, it just makes a U shape, has a purpose, but it's not a straight line. So that's what a nonlinear one looks like. And then finally, then what in the world does a no association look like? That means that you really can't make a positive, a negative, and it doesn't look like a curved line or anything like that. They're, they're just dots scattered all over the place. Well, here's an example of that one. You can notice that this one here, uh, if I tried to put a straight line on this one, that type line doesn't really make sense. If I tried to manipulate that, um, that line there, you know, it's really not going straight across. It's really not going down. Um, there's really no association whatsoever to this one. They're just points kind of scattered um, all over the place. So that's what a no association. So again, Positive association, negative association, a nonlinear association, and a no association. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, good luck on this, guys, and uh, this con should not take you very long. Bye-bye.